Hello and welcome back to Live and Impossible. It's time for Operation Bloody Stroke. Thank you for joining me. This is a fighter shot down in India. This is the second uh, fighter we've gone on in a row. Um, we're exhausting a lot of the same original like sergeant team that we took on the first one to try and get them some extra training while the training's still up for grabs. So let's get down there and let's see what we can do with all these engineers uh, and all these sergeants. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Da na 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 da na na Submarine camera. Uh, I got one meld canister over here on the far side of the UFO. Can't find any others, so for maximum rewards gained from this mission, we'll want to head straight towards the UFO, do a door breach as quickly as possible, capture the outsider if possible, grab that meld, and then secure the UFO as a bunker for incoming reinforcements. The other alien pods could be over here by the bar, we don't know. We're kind of in the middle of things right here. And that means we have to choose left or right. I'm going to choose right, uh, as soon as I've spotted no meld to the left, of course. If I hear that noise to the left, that woo, that meld is to the left noise, I'm going to be pissed. But uh, that's a general idea. So we're going to head far right. Quick door breach. Move as quickly as we can, so while we're staying safe, grab that meld after the outside is dealt with. Go from there. Let's do this. Showtime. Let's start with you, Stolly. Dan Vagabond. I'm on the move. Check a scan. Give us some forward intel out there. Scanners up and running. Nay contact so far. Okay. Well, that's helpful to know for next turn. Moving out. Moving out. Moving to designated By the numbers, position. this should be totally safe, but I'm always paranoid that I'm just going to activate for no On good reason. Move. Which is probably a safe thing to assume. Running. I always feel like you left the oven on when I play this game. I always feel like I'm missing something. Mutons, eh? I'm on the move. But where, why, and how? And the door's gone. Maybe there never was a door there. That's right. I've got this map back to front. That's a gap. The actual door is on this side, but well, we don't have time to get over there. Plus, it's fraught with peril going from left to right with contact, so... I say we stick to our plan of left side. Maybe throw a scan inside the uh, UFO itself. I'm rolling. How many scans you got? Okay, throw one inside the UFO itself. Sweeping. There's your outsider right there. So we can sneak in on him if we uh, move quick enough. Good to go. And uh, swiftly and safely and all that good stuff. So I'm thinking of coming from the right. Use this wall to uh, mask my approach. On the move. Main thing I gotta watch out for is if Moving. there's suddenly mutons in this right pocket, that would slow me down a lot. So I'm kind of just being mindful of that right now. But otherwise, we're moving of all hastiness. So we want to get eyes on where those mutons are. We want to at least kind of try to hear where they are. Now we gotta count this range: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So don't go beyond this log, and we should be all gravy. Heading to that location. Is what I'm getting out of that. Looking for. Affirmative. Ricevuto. Keep moving quickly, people. As 
quickly as you can Already while staying there. safe. Heading there now. Do not cut any corners. We don't know where those Moving mutons out. are. And I do not want to find out like this. Give me, give me audio. Come on. Give me some muton audio, damn it. Okay, just don't go past the log and we should be good. Unless I counted wrong, in which case we would be very not good. Heading to that location. Seems alright so far. I should be able to take this log then. Headed there now. Which is good to set up my troops on, obviously. Okay. Gamish in the back. I'm rolling. Trying her hardest to get Lone Wolf. Nobody gives Gamish a space. I'm on the move. Game just needs a space. I'm on it, Commander. And Prowler up the back. Moving out. Red Boston, we're going Overwatch. Got it covered. I've got my eyes on. Okay, we'll start our linear approach now. Still don't know where those mutons are, though. Something to keep in mind. Stolly should probably lead for that reason. Ooh, but you're gonna cut that corner a little bit too much, so you can't lead. I'm on it, Commander. Stolly's hopes for command dashed. Yeah, you're cutting that corner too much, kid. You gotta bring it in a bit. I'm on the move. Take it in slow. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Don't take that cover in case it fucks everything up. Just hold what you got and be happy you got it. I'm rolling. Shit, I just took the cover. Beagle is the worst at this game. I'm on the move. One one job. One job, Beagle. One single job. Don't take the cover. And I took the cover. But it's alright, I, I got away with it. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Moving to Overwatch. Okay. Let's see what we can do about this guy, I suppose. Let's go right in. my way. Enemy in sight. Okay, you got your activation right there. Might even pull Vagabond back, because that's a spooky situation to be in. We're going to be suppressing with Soylent. Still, he can't get a capture this turn, but next turn should be good. I'm on it, Commander. I need flashbangs off somebody. Did I not bring any flashbangs? I brought scanners instead, shit. Well, that sucks. I'm going to have to smoke myself then. Okay, gonna have to smoke. Move your ad here. Good. Got the smoke coverage. Yeah, it's not dense smoke, but it's better than nothing. Right now, if I move to this position, I should be close enough to stun him next turn while still being in smoke. Yeah, I can stun him next turn. Probably gonna fall you back. We're prepped to shoot this guy. Don't worry about it next turn. I'm on it, Commander. Moving up slow. Jive can move up. Moving to position. J Val's remaining. Game is remaining. Remaining ready. Got him covered. Now you suppress him, you don't let him do shit. Hunker. Hunker. Hunker burning a love. Yeah, you just overwatch. I'd rather the fire on you than on that medic, honestly. 
you hunker though. Alright, he hunkered. Interesting choice. It does make it very hard to deal any damage to capture him this turn, so it's probably a wise one when you get down to it. Can't really capture him now unless I can... I can blow that up. Good, okay. We can maybe do this. But I'm not going to get multiple chances at it if I blow the wall up is the thing. Ah, there's plenty of mutons out there to deal with. I can capture them if this outsider capture doesn't work properly. So what the hell, go for it. Blow up his cover. And let's see what we can do about this guy. If we capture him, we capture him. If we don't, we don't. Grenade out. There goes your cover, so fuck you. Let's try not to deal too much damage. No mutons, which is good. I was kind of getting worried about the mutons showing up for a second there. But we're okay for right now. Now we just need to deal a little bit of damage. Now he's got 13 life. The highest I've seen these Gauss rifles go for is 11. So we should be able to take a shot even with Jive. Uh, and be totally fine about it. I can even suppress with Soylent. Put that holo targeting on him. Bang. Okay, that's... Not super good. We need to deal one, two, three. Okay, a ballistic pistol would be very nice. Make sure we got control. We got control. Gamer is going to kill this guy as soon as he makes a move. So we can run up and ballistic pistol him, no problem. That's affirmative. Go for pistol. Good, but not great. But now deal much smaller damage than that, I'm afraid. We don't have any more... We don't have damage that gets any more incremental than that, I'm afraid. Unless we go for another ballistic pistol, but the chances of it not hitting for four seem like... I may as well just take my 30% stun capture attempt. And not a huge surprise, it failed. But that's the difference between a four and a three on the damage. Now uh, we can simply finish it off and call it a day. We're gonna keep moving for that meld. Okay. Keep people up of the squad as we move for that Holy meld. Target location. Mi sto muovendo. Okay. Remember last episode when I said I'd capture the outsider? I guess I lied. Roger. I got my eyes on. I didn't want to fuck around with him, especially with no flashbangs. At this range, he could shoot me even suppressed and hit me and deal a lot of damage. I don't want to fuck around with that. One capture attempt is enough with mutons on the field. I'll just capture the mutons instead, and I'll be quite happy about it, to be quite frank with you. Okay, we got next turn on that meld. That's good. Now, I'd imagine the mutons will start coming for me. So I might want to set up on using this UFO as a bunker, which is something I actually haven't done much before. I don't have a lot of experience with that. Roger that. But it seems pretty straightforward. Headed there now. Move in. Take good cover. Chill out. Not too much to it, I don't think. Moving out. Visual on the goods. Gotta get gameage in position to be ready to support this uh, bunker tactic that we're about to employ. See that. Out. As we do jive. Um, Prowler can move up one Will tile go. and then hold what he's got. And your ad here can also get ready. Heading there now. Now why don't you throw a scan out and tell me if you see him coming? That would be very helpful. Scanner in the air. Nothing yet, but they'll probably be coming. Roger that. Scanning. Back in. Alright, we just gotta be ready for him. Coming from the right side, maybe? I don't think we're alone out here. No, that would be a wise call to make there, Soylent. You're wise beyond your years. Grab that meld canister. 
Nice three meld. Only three melds from these canisters. Maybe it wasn't worth trading the meld for that outside of capture last mission. I don't know. That carbine would have sold for a bit. But every bit of meld is precious though. That is definitely true. Now I would like some good cover for Soylent. Maybe on this right side. I'm kind of running out of heavy cover here. Start moving you to the right. Headed there now. Check a scan out. See if you can see him coming yourself. Sweeping. And this UFO is ours now. Okay, Berserker. Interesting. Very interesting. I can kind of prepare for that though. So that's going to be coming in soon. Looks like we got two Berserkers. And as always, annoyingly, a couple of Muton bodyguards with the Muton Dew Code Reds. That's a big boss berserker too. So we gotta watch out for that. So with a squad this low in rank, this is problematic. Because people are very likely to panic. Who's my highest ranker here? Is it j -Bals? He's gonna take the first shot. I don't have an opportunist to infantry, so that's also a problem. There's a lot of problems with taking on two berserkers of a squad this uh, baby. We don't have a huge amount of choice. Moving. We have to do what we do. Probably alien grenade the hell out of them. And just do what we do. Moving. An early chem would be good as well. I'm on the move. Maybe not this turn, but soon. May as well chuck it out this turn. I have more chem than I need, so I can just chuck chem out. If it catches them, it catches them in the next two turns. If not, I've got plenty more chem to go around, you know? I have four chems total. Plenty of chem. And they might just walk into activation range if they're crazy this turn. We'll see. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Overwatch. Aye, aye. We're going to want a really good shredder from J-Bows to start this contact, plus the chem. Okay, they took a very short move there. So we got to engage this at maximum possible range. If I move out to here, I can pull with gameage. Get him into that chem sooner rather than later. And then, yeah, just continue engaging at max range here, I'd say, is the ticket. That's affirmative. There's nothing, Commander. Moving. Max, max range. I'm rolling. Aye, aye, Commander. Once they step into the kill zone, I can shred them easily. Roger. So that's I not a problem. Affirmative. Covering now. Oh, watch. Aye, aye. Okay, now that's one cam that isn't going to activate. But if I throw out another one... Well, I haven't got a scan now. I need, do I have any more scans? No, that was all my scans, so I can't activate them quite as cleanly now. Unfortunately, I have to bet on Overwatch activating them now. Aye, aye, Commander. Or activate them myself. Which isn't ideal, obviously. But they are coming closer and closer, slowly, slowly. I can keep moving gameage around the left here and keep getting new shots okay. on them. As long as j -Bell stays ready, it's all okay. Moving. We'll go. And indeed, if I space my troops out more, hopefully, uh, the effect will be the Berserkers have to pick one camp to go for, and then that camp can just run. I'm on the move. While the other camp lays fire down. Headed there now. Scanner. It's gonna be dicey though. Bad panic. I could do this easily with no panics, but bad panics is gonna make this dicey. I've killed, Commander. Overwatch. I, I. Overwatch. I, I. Scanner. 
Chem will be very important. And kiting. That's not even considering the two mutons themselves. Okay, I think we're going to want to chem again. Moving out. Stick it right out there. Hope they activate this turn. I really need the economy of having this chem already out when the fight starts, which is why I'm willing to just do this. Otherwise, you bet I wouldn't be doing this kind of shit. Okay. Alright. Okay, we're doing our best to make this work. Okay, I'm going to activate in this turn, try and get into that chem, I think. I don't know if it'll work quite right, but I can try. So there's your berserkers. They're coming. I have a sneaking suspicion that chem will dissipate before they run into it. But still. Now, Stelly's got to get the fuck out. Stelly actually doesn't have quite as much movement as I thought she did. I'm... Writing checks of her that I can't cash because now that muton's got me flanked. Shit, I am writing checks with Stolly I cannot cash. That guy can move up and shoot her. I she can't quite make it to where I wanted to make it with her. That is unfortunate. For you. Um Hmm. I can't shred him this turn either. Although they shouldn't be able to bull rush this because it's very solid cover, so if I chem them again, they shouldn't be able to reach me. As long as it's chem first action. But how am I going to get that chem on them is the thing. Well, maybe. Maybe, uh... But then I can get bull rush from their shit. That shouldn't be bull rushable, though. On the move. Maybe this will work. That shouldn't be bull rushable at all be very mad if it is, because it should only be thin cover that gets bull rushed, I think. Okay. Focus on the big guy, Soylent. Hold your ground and focus on the big guy. I, Commander. We're going to suppress so that we don't shoot until their turn. We don't give them any more movement than, they've already, than they're already going to get. And we're just going to try and um, overwatch camp these guys right now. Because we don't want to shoot them. If we start shooting them, the panic rolls start happening. People start dying. The idea here is the chem hamstrings their movement. We get a bunch of hits on them of overwatch. Then next turn we shred them and we go for gold. But this turn, we just try to overwatch camp them out. That's the idea, anyway. I'm on it, Commander. Affirmative. Covering now. You're gonna have to fall right back. To this position. Yep, you're good. You're Roger. good. I've got my eyes on. J Bell's still keeping that shredder ready for this upcoming turn. Jive. I'm on it, Commander. Overwatch. Roger. Game is no shot, actually. Interesting. She should have shot in a second. You're gonna see targets real soon. Okay, now here come the Zerkers. Let's pray they can't actually bull rush that back cover. Because if not, that's bad. Good damage, though, and shredded. That's gonna be really good. And hopefully the acid will keep them from doing anything nasty, because acid... Cuts their mobility down really heavily. Yeah, as you can see. And, and I don't think we could have done this any other way. I, look how little he is compared to the other one. Like, I know he's a full-size Muton, I know that, but... Compared to the other one, he looks like a little midget. But that little midget is angry and he's coming for me. What's he gonna do? Not a lot. Good. But they're gonna have more mobility next turn because of Bull Rush. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my opportunity to shred one again. I uh, not shred one. Uh, to opportunist Overwatch one again. Okay. By setting up the opportunist suppression. X-ray locked down. And then shredding with J bells. We get a free shot that isn't gonna be privy to. Uh, hey, you just panicked. Okay, shredder right on top of this dickhead. Is gonna be the name of the game. Rockets away. You know it. If only I had an assault and not all these engineers. Heavy but that's good. That's really good. And we've almost killed them without anyone risking a panic yet, which is critical. The fact that we haven't had to risk anyone panicking yet is like the crux of this strategy. Um, you know, the crux of what I'm trying to do here. Speaking of which, shock absorbing armor, huh? So you wouldn't like getting shot from far away, would you? No, you would not. Good job, Gamage. Now we just need to wear this guy, this uh, last guy down. This guy doesn't have shock absorbent, so I can get right up in his face with a shotgun and do uh, do me some work. He's got smoke though, so I think he's got smoke. Yeah, he's got my smoke from last turn, so even more reason that I have to run up uh, and shotgun the hell out of him. What can I do about that? Yeah, it should be alright. No, don't run up. You might get Overwatch. Okay. Just hold what you got. Just shoot him close range. Scatter laser. Big damage. Oh! Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Ha 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 Acid's so great for Berserkers. Okay. That's good. Berserkers are down in pretty... Half my squad hasn't even done anything. You've got to respect the amount of damage we just put out. I'm not blowing my own trumpet here. You've got to, you've got to trust the squad here. You've really got to respect what this gang of corporals and sergeants just did to two berserkers. Barely even taking their shots. That was impressive. Okay, now we've got to deal with the mutons themselves. Maybe we'll get a capture. Maybe we won't. Remains to be seen. More than anything, I want to smoke myself after that little show of force. Because that smoke is about to wear off. So we'll smoke of your ad here. Then we're gonna movement left. I can shoot, I can overwatch, I can hunker, I can do whatever I want. I could move up here and go for an alien grenade or start to go for an alien grenade on these guys. On, it, on a movement vector that doesn't open me up to overwatch as well, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll start moving on the, this side. On the move. I kind of want to know where his buddy is, but I also don't want to move out there. So, you know, pluses and minuses. I do really want to move in, though, because I want to get a capture, so... I'm going to start moving in. Uh, on this side, I suppose. You can overwatch... 50 defense. Is it really worth your life? No, just hunker. Um. Yep. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. Okay. Here comes mutons. Oh, they can see Jive, but I can't see them. Always, always a pleasure. Now, what are they doing? One's moved up to Overwatch me. He has no covering fire, which is good. Though still, I have no scout. And no real way to deal with him because of that. Gamage has no shot either. Count it. Count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So you don't want to run this path or you're going to get shot on Overwatch. Probably want to keep it to here instead. Look for. We can send a grenade over. It's not going to do too much on its own, but with a pair of them, we might be able to take him down. And then just capture that last one. Hello. Pretty decent damage. Gotta love it. What is that again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Is that two tiles, I think? 14, 15, 16, 17. 
You should be good. I'm just a little worried that you won't be. Can you can you just throw your grenade from there? That's easier. Just throw your grenade from there. I'm just a little worried that you wouldn't be okay. Just chuck it from your current position. It's safer. Good nade. God bless these curves. Terrible nade. Wow. Worst nade of anything ever. Come on, gamers. Get a shot. Work this out for us. Come back to us. Oh, Gamage. You are the light of my life. After Jamble, of course. And Soylent. And you guys. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, we're still chilling here watching this guy. No smoke on Vegabond. Interesting. That was kind of like a lot of the point of that movement. So I can get in position. Reload. You have smoke, but he didn't? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. I'm on it. No, I don't get it. Hunker. You don't have smoke either, what the hell? Get that rocket moving up. Yes, Commander. I could practically play this game in my voice, because I talk to my troops the whole time. It's like Tom Clancy's end war up in here. Okay, now remember, he's still not got covering fire, so I don't know exactly what he intends to accomplish right now. I'm going to shoot him with gameage. Just to start. That's a good start. Now, if I've got suppression, I do. Stimpy, you idiot. What are you doing? I'm going to capture you. I need to get Stoli in here uh, quickly to go for a capture on him. So let's get in here quickly. That should be good. He's not flanked, I'm not flanked, everybody's happy. I'm on the move. Overwatch him. I feel, Commander. Get someone in position to ballistic pistol him. And overwatch. Moving out. Aye, aye. You keep him pinned if he does anything I stupid. Feel, you here, boys? You keep him pinned. I feel, Commander. Nothing stupid allowed. Stepping off. Here comes a shot on Soylent. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Soylent narrowly avoids having her head blown off. Which is handy. I don't like it when Soylent's head gets blown off. It's not very helpful for me. Now, my capture chances are here. If I flank with a ballistic pistol, it's more likely to get the damage to exactly where I need it. But then he's going to run afterwards. Whereas if I just go in with laser pistols or ballistic pistols from the front, I can suppress him, smoke, chem him even. Oh no, that's a good point. I can chem him and he won't actually be a threat. Okay, go in for your ballistic pistol. That seems wise. Headed there now. Give him some chem even. On the move. We won't suppress him. Importantly, we won't suppress him here. Cam him. Just need to deal the 4 damage off the Ballistic Pistol crit here. Do I have a Laser Pistol crit? Because that would be much better. Yes, I do. Jive, go for the Ballistic Pistol. Uh, laser, sorry, Laser Pistol crit. Because that would be much better here. Unless he's shredded, which I don't think he is. No, he's just acid. Okay, go for the Laz Pistol. Perfect. He's fucked. Perfect capture. Now we ride. And one and a two and a stun stun potato. Okay, whatever. Fine. I don't give a fuck. You can't do anything. I'm gonna just fucking suppress you. Because you can't do anything. Or you're dead. So I don't give a shit. Do what you want. You think you big shit? Let's see who's big shit in a second. I'm big shit. Good to go. I've got my eyes. Roger that. Scanning. You ain't big shit. I'm big shit. How's that chem taste, huh? Tastes good? Okay, you're going to die now. That was my last charge, wasn't it? Okay, now you're gonna die. Let's give it to the man who hasn't had a mission in so long. 
Let's give it to Prowler, everybody. Give it up for Prowler. He got shot halfway out of his mind, but he's still killing. Give it up for Prowler, everybody. Well, that was a low contact mission, but high intensity with those Berserkers. Um, the fact that we were able to blitz him with the squad type sniper who doesn't get intimidated, uh, and also the, uh, the Shredder Rocket and the Chem, and just the Overwatch shots and the suppression, that suppression trick is a good way to take shots on Berserkers with low ranking troops without them panicking, because you cannot panic off reaction shots, and opportunists on a machine gun means you may as well suppress, it just costs more ammo. And in that situation, ammo is not the problem, the problem is panicking, so... And also it means they don't get their free movement, they have to wait until their turn to move, and then you shoot them when they move. So that's a good little trick, one simple trick discovered by a stay-at-home commander uh, for dealing with berserkers on corporal squads. Okay, a couple of promotions. We're all pretty well on the exhaustions, that's looking pretty good. Jive got the worst exhaustion, and that's fine because I don't use Jive much anyway. Um, Vagabond's the second worst, but that's fine because they got up the Tech Sergeant, so there you go. Prowler is now Schnugaf, which I don't even know what that means, I hope it's not something rude. Uh, and Gamish and JBL's got pretty good rolls. So Vagabond up to Dense Smoke like everybody else. I'm tempted to go Combat Drugs um, with Psychic coming, so I won't take it just yet on her. Prowler, finally a Support Engineer, as I said he would be a long time ago. Just hasn't got quite as much will as everybody else, but that's alright. That's fine, don't worry about it. Couple of berserkers, a lot of alloys. Got a flight computer. Let's sell that spare shit. Alright, and let's carry on. Okay, now we're just gonna sell the teensy tiniest amount of Seeker Rex. Oh, I didn't even need to sell that last one. Just sell the eight Seeker Rex. I'm receiving you. Because. Return to base for debriefing. It's finally time to get our third uh, and most explosive of Ga Gauss weapons, the Recoilless Rifle, in development. Excellent. So we got our Gauss Long Rifle, our Alloy Cannon, and our Recoilless Rifle all in development. That is good. Things are going well. Uh, now we're going to keep on scanning here, I believe. Did I need to change my air game around? I do, because, yeah, now they have kind of screwed up my Asian air game a little bit. Although still, it's really just trading three for four, because... In 16 hours, I'll have three back on station, and then I'd just have three in North America if I left. So I kind of just got to do what I got to do. I need more interceptors, really. But let's just keep going for right now. Okay, Alien Computers Research Project is complete. Satellite Nexus and Smart Gun Kit now both available. That gives you uh, Opportunist, basically, or Advanced Fire Control, I can't remember which. That lets you do two satellites instead of one. Both good things to have. Now, what do I want next? We can finally go for alien biocybernetics, or at least we could if I had the alloys for it, but I don't just yet. I want to build that recoilless rifle first. But this is how close we're getting to mechs. We're getting very, very close. So we'll just do a, like a stopgap uh, stop research instead while we wait. Maybe I'll do an interrogate berserker. Uh, I don't know. I need to do an interrogate berserker at some point because I need it for psi panic, and my psi labs are about to come online, so... Let's just get this done while we've got the opportunity. Okay, easy peasy. That is on the way. Now what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do, 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 do next? How far do I want to play the dangerous game of Exalt scans? We'll scan on the 28th, like I said I would, or the the end of the 28th anyway. No. Commander. No, Our I don't think so. Satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on Sats your orders. Sats are ready. Oh, detected. we got a scout. Okay. Let's, uh, we got a lot more better trained troops, uh, pilots on North America I'm seeing. Uh, so, except for Urban. So we'll go in defensive with, uh, one of my better troops to try and take this scout out. We're in pursuit. Just trying to keep our air game up here. We're really running out of interceptors. Approaching target now. 
good shooting. Good hunting indeed. That's a little bit of money, which is good because I need money to um, to do the covert intel scan now. I need $200 runies for that intel scan. And I'm still a long way off plasma at this point, so I might sell a couple more plasma weapons. It's always a new thing that I need late game that I like to start selling. Have you noticed? It's always like, no, let's start selling this thing now. This is the thing I want to sell now. Maybe not carbines so much, they're a little bit harder to get. We'll just sell the teensiest bit of Illyrium to push us over the edge. There you go. Okay. Let's do a covert intel scan. Intel scan complete. There it is, boy. We heard about were flying saucers. The aliens certainly have come a long way. Yes, they certainly have. Now, Drake's uh, Drake's still coming back in for that one, I think. 20 hours. Which we can wait, but it might be better to send someone else. Like Instinct, maybe? He's got extra con. But of course, so does Drake. Extra con doesn't really count for anything when you're an operative either. He's got close encounters. He's got tax sense, quite importantly, because Gunslinger wasn't doing a hell of a lot for me as the operative. I felt with Drake, but tax sense might be good. And he's got Sprinter, which is what you really need as the operative. Resilience doesn't help you against grenades, which is usually the only thing that gets to actually hit you. So we'll send Instinct out on this operation, I think. Keep Drake for the actual extraction op. Maybe I should just pack like reinforced armor on you for the grenades, I don't know. No, you need that alien trophy, don't you? That's right. You need to not panic when the central. grenades hit. I'm receiving you. What do you mean you think you saw a snake? What the hell does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Send the operative on the mission. Operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Japan. Good. Japan. Okay, let's keep on going. It's just like Red Alert 2. That's the power plant that Yuri uses. Okay, Gene Lab is up and running. We're gonna get some more research Commander, benefits out of that. The genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefields than ever before. Now, As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. Now, what I want to do here is everybody who can't be psychic, make them neural dampened, because that is huge. That uh, gives you plus 20 will against psi attacks, which is also huge, and it also makes it so you can't panic. These guys are rock solid, so AO, neural dampening. Especially when it's just up against smart macrophages, which just lets you heal slightly more and gives you immunity to poison, which is useful, but I mean... Compared to not panicking, no. You can't even be mind controlled. If the soldier is attempted to be mind controlled, the control is cancelled and the soldier is simply stunned for a turn instead. But the downside of this is they can't go undergo psychic training. So officers already can't be psychic. So we're going to want um, neural dampening on all those guys. Um, although once I start the surgery, I don't think I can stop it. So I gotta, I gotta make sure I do this during downtime when I've got a really healthy roster. This is just to show you guys the mods. I'm probably not going to do it right now. Um, because these are good, but they're not essential. Hyper Reactive, um, is good for an infantry, plus the name after a miss. Later when you get jetpack armor, you can go depth perception for the aim bonuses. Same with this, down in the legs, you can go muscle fiber density. You can muscle fiber your entire squad, um, and just start jumping everywhere as like a poor man's jetpack armor. And then later on, once you've got jetpack armor, you can switch that to the, uh, adaptive bone marrow. The main bonus of the adaptive bone marrow, whatever it's called, uh, is that it lets you exhaust your troops. Um, and they recover much quicker because you recover from wounds much quicker. So you can pick a good soldier, give them the bone marrow, and then you can exhaust them fairly frequently for fairly simple uh, return times. And then skin, we haven't got anything yet, but that's bioelectric versus iron skin. Iron skin's my pick for most troops, but bioelectric is really good on your scouts and assaults, and people are going to be running up there as a scout for you. Uh, and then for chest, adrenal neurosympathy is actually really, really good, uh, and I should put it on my infantry until secondary heart shows up. See, the interesting thing about gene mods is you can switch them. You can switch them after you... You can build one and you can go, no, I'm going to take the muscle fiber density out, I'm going to put the adaptive in. And you take the marrow out and you put new stuff in. Um, adrenal neurosympathy, basically, whenever that soldier gets a kill, you buff all the troops around you and you clear panic from all of them, I'm pretty sure, is the huge kicker. So, I mean, you think about it, AWA's got neural dampening and adrenal neurosympathy. 
He can... He'll never panic, and he can clear panic from everyone around him. You just gotta get a kill on him. And it's as simple as that. So, I mean... It's a pretty strong combo. Uh, and when I can afford it, I'll try to get it going. Probably some muscle fiber density on my A-teamers. But this stuff adds up, man. I mean, like... Even just three mods on AO is like 30... 34 meld. That meld needs to be reserved for my mechs pretty soon. Um, plus it takes him out of rotation for like a month. Or like 15 days. So, I mean, you can't put this on too many troops. It's just key troops for difficult missions. Like, I'm going to want AO to be gene modded for the base assault, I'd say. But there you go. Um, that's a quick look at gene mods. I'm not going to do them just yet. But soon. Very soon. In fact, I could start doing one right now. With Scuba Man. Scuba Man can pick up AO slack. And Merlin. This is a good time to do AO. The meld substance has been enormously valuable Let's in get some dollars. theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have the option of incorporating alien physiology into our genetic enhancement programs. It may be asking too much of our soldiers. They will be even more capable on the battlefield. It's creepy and it's spooky, but... We need every edge to win. Okay, so I'm gonna want probably Adrenal Neurosympathy first. I think, because that's gonna get more use at this point than Neural Damping. Ah, but Neural Damping would be very clutch. Let's see. That'll take six days. That'll take ten days, so we'll start off with that. What's this? Seven days. And three days for hyperactive pupils. That's not too bad. We'll start off with Adrenal Neurosympathy. We're gonna give Awo the Adrenaline Glands, and he's gonna get hyped up and pheromone everybody else when he gets kills. Alright, Awo. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. The first of a new breed of soldier. I've got lots of gunners. I should also do my uh, gunner. Now, Neurosympathy is kind of a waste on them, I think. Uh, muscle fiber is for later. Neural Super is kind of a waste on them because they might be suppressing. And later on, I definitely want a secondary hard him, no doubt, like as soon as possible. So I might just go Neural Dampening on Medve. Uh, and then he can combo with AO on a really hard mission to make sure somebody won't panic. Uh, until I can get the Neural Dampening onto AO. Or I can put it on someone else entirely. I've got scouts. Nah. Nah, there's no one else I'd really like to put it on just yet. Apart from maybe my assaults. What could I probably put on my assaults? I could put, um... Nah. Nah, they're not close enough for Neurosympathy. I think I'll just put Neural Dampening on Medve and call it a day. And that was how much, sorry? That was $20 again, okay. That's fine. Give me another $20. Somebody. Anybody. Ah, fuck it. Keep him in rotation. No, no, no. Cell's gonna be the top gunner anyway. Uh, let's do it on Medve. Let's see here. Just go back to the Illyrium well. Always go back to the Illyrium well. I really shouldn't be selling Illyrium, but I don't have anything else I want to sell right now. Alright, Medve. Let's neural dampen him so that he can't be psychic and can't be psychic. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Okay. Let's carry on now. We got a COVID extraction going, right? Yep. Let's carry on. I just gotta make sure I launch my satellites before the end of the, the month as well. No, that's a terrible deal. Okay, I'm gonna put those satellites up now. Now, I don't have any interceptors to cover these, but I've kind of done the math. Basically, a satellite costs $140 to make. Other than that, it's free. It's just, you know, the money. Um, I don't have any interceptors to cover these, so should I just keep them, or should I launch them anyway, as soon as I've got the satellites? Here's the thing. I'm going to get, what, $75 off Brazil, and like $45 off of Argentina. So I, I'm not even covering the cost of one satellite off that, but I'm kind of getting there. But you got to factor in the other stuff. For one, I'll get the bonus of power to the people. Which is, um... It's going to cut down my power costs substantially. Now, I need to build a new fission generator soon. 
Plus, you can see here, $70 maintenance for Thermo, $25 off the Foundry, so that should add up the monetary cost a bit. Plus, I'm going to get the scientists and engineers per month. Plus, uh, there's also the chance that they don't get shot down at all. So, I mean, it feels like it's worth the risk. I'm going to just launch my satellites. Satellite launched. Get the money. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. It's just one of them's probably going to get shot down, required. but you know what? It's better than just letting them sit the here in storage. the team is getting antsy. They might be more excited about the new weapons than our troops are. That seems so unlikely. All right, we'll carry on now. With all our eggs counted for. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Not bad. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Not bad, not bad. Remember, we will be watching. Not bad. Okay, so we got $334 monthly budget to spend now, which means if we wanted to go more gene mod crazy, we the could. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. That's a big discount on the fission generator, so I'm going to build that. Because I need to get that going. Uh, I could start excavating pools the next steam, but I think I'll cool my jets on that for right now. I want to get another workshop going when I can. Any foundry projects I've been lacking? Side warfare systems could be good. I forgot to build that. I'm gonna need that uh, desperately. So we'll get to work on side warfare systems. As for the rest, not just I'll make yet. Sure production begins immediately, and as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Yeah, not just yet. Okay, carry on, carry on. I can probably spend the money on no, not regimental officers yet. The majors need to go on like five missions before they can be colonels. But that's good that I've got all the ranks I need to get all the officers I need. It's just very expensive. Could probably do with hiring another interceptor, I don't know. I'm going to need them soon anyway. It's just the cost of getting another laser cannon up is very prohibitive. Very prohibitive indeed. What else could I build with that money? I could gene mod harder with that money. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I don't want to take too many more master sergeants out of rotation because we never know when we're gonna get when we're gonna get uh, hit really hard. So I'm just seeing if there's anyone who would be prudent to mod, but not by the look of it. Not so you would notice. Hey, maybe Van Dorn. We can kind of get ahead of the curve on Van Dorn, and Neural dampen him early as well. Could even give him the jumpy legs too if I wanted. No, we'll give Van Dorn the Neural dampening as well. Then he's going to be solid as a rock as well. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Okay, let's carry on here. The Gauss rifle is complete too, isn't it? Yes, yes, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Just equip that thing right now, Drake. Oh, feel the cool alloy metal in your hands. Feel that sleek sexiness. God, I love the alloy cannon. Glory to the alloy cannon. Alright, put it back, put it back. Let's keep scanning. Interrogate Berserker complete. I'm a tech research credit. Good. That'll be good. That'll be useful. Now, we still don't quite have the alloys for alien biosubinetics after all that time. We're teetering on it, but we're not quite there yet. Not if I want that recoilless rifle, which I desperately do. So we could research Illyrium, Chrissy Autopsy, Drone Autopsy, Seeker Autopsy. Let me look real quick what gets me what gene mods, because I think if I do Seeker Autopsy, I can actually get Bioelectric, and that would be huge right now. Let me have a look. Yes, indeed, I can get Bioelectric skin off this, and I can also get UFO counter measures, which I totally forgot to get. Um, Crystal Autopsy will give me Regenerative Bone Marrow. And then, apparently I have to do Cyberdisc Autopsy to get Iron Skin, but haven't I already Autopsy the Cyberdisc? It's like, September. Like, isn't it October? Like, haven't I got that already? Surely. This is Beta 14, of course, but... Well, apparently I never did Cyberdisc. How many Cyberdiscs do I have? Oh, no, I know what the problem is. I have to do Alien Bio Cybernetics before I can do that, don't I? Something like that. Okay. Anyway, let's do Secret Autopsy real quick. 
Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has an unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. Oh, the vapors. I've got the vapors. Okay. That's all fine and well and good. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Everything's gravy. Keep doing everything. Keep carrying on. No. How many sinus do I have? Oh. All right. Fine. Fine. The Corollis rifle is ready, Commander. Mm -mm. And so is my operative. Data recovery, Dying Hydra. Okay. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. On an urban block, no less. Kilroy's only 20 hours out from being back on the job. That's cute. She would have definitely been on this mission. As it is, it'll probably be Morgan and Drake, but I would have taken that third assault in a heartbeat. Uh, okay. It's time for me to gear up my squad. Hey, we're only one day off too, shit. Time for me to gear up my squad here uh, for this operation. Let's see what I pick. Yeah, let's give uh, Scoobman a quick promotion here before we head out. Congratulations, Captain. It's been a long time coming. You've seen a lot of shit. Alright, and now... Back to it. Alright, so, um, yeah, I kind of learned my lesson from that last one, and I'm going to bring a Rocketeer this time, along with the Engineer, to make sure I've got lots of cover destruction opportunities with two rockets uh, for Ikus in the zone, and uh, in case there is that many eggs all again, which, hell, there probably will be. Fraggy reprises his role because he was instrumental in the last one. Uh, Morgan and Drake going toe-to-toe -to -toe of Exalt here. Drake wielding the new alloy cannon. Uh, Morgan with an assault rifle. Zim bringing a scope for the rapid fire. Um, it's going to be more useful on her than Morgan, I figure. So Morgan's bringing the extra make it instead of Zim. Uh, Scuba Man, the new captain with the standard loadout. And it's interesting to note that uh, if only this were a normal mission, we would have totally eschewed primary weapons as lasers right now. I guess Fraggy doesn't count, but I mean... Um, but the difference is we don't actually want to use the Gauss Long Rifle on EQ because he wants more ammo to chain in the zone and the Gauss Long Rifle has very little ammo, and that plus one damage isn't going to be that big compared to the fact that heat ammo is the main reason you want the Gauss Long Rifle over the laser ri rifle. Uh, so against human fleshy targets, the Gauss Long Rifle not actually that good compared to the laser, at least on EQ. If it was on a snapshot lock and loader in the zona, like uh, Gamage is going to be, I'd consider it. Anyway, this is the squad. Drake's usually on the other side of these kind of missions, but uh, let's get out there, let's see what's going down. Deployment strike one. We've picked up an exalt cell operating inside Japan. Strike one will need to move in and assist our operative in securing the new data. All right, this is uh, <laughs> it's a banana bunch map. Uh, this is Operation Dying Hydra. Uh, this map has a lot of great memories for me. Join me next time as we see if they repeat themselves or if the mission will be something else entirely. Until then, have a good one.